several months back, I bought my wife my dream car, which was a Dodge Challenger Hellcat. I be able to buy a Hellcat but I did um, I had bought the Ram TRX previous to that but I had not yet bought the Dodge Durango Hellcat nor had I bought the Dodge Charger Hellcat wide body the 50th anniversary that I currently have um, so yeah this was a big big purchase for us and we paid fifty seven thousand dollars for it and we later sold it for about six thousand dollars more than what we paid for it um, we sold it to Crown Dodge of Fayetteville and traded it in towards the Dodge Durango SRT that we currently drive. More space, uh, more conducive to family life, uh, still a really, really badass ride, uh, but the Hellcat wasn't doing it for our family, and we had the Charger, so we didn't really have a need to have two Hellcat cars uh, without something with more space so we can carry the entire family with us. Long story short, I'm on Crown Dodge's website all the time. I've said that in previous videos. I'm constantly on the website looking at cars, seeing what they get in, seeing what they've sold. Um, it's just fun, I don't know. Uh, I'm a car junkie and I'm constantly seeing what they have. That's how I was able to get the Ram TRX as soon as they posted it. That's how I was able to get my hands on the Hellcat Durango as soon as they posted it. That's how I was able to get my hands on the SRT Durango. I'm on there all the time. You know? I've joked with friends of mine that work there that I know their inventory better than they do, and it's probably true. So needless to say, the Hellcat, once we traded it in, sat on the lot, not even getting clean for about a week or more, just sitting on the side lot, you know, over by the tent where they take pictures and stuff like that, what cars waiting for detail. And so I even made the comment to friends of mine that work there, you know, what are they doing? Why, why is the marketing team not on this car already? With the chip shortage, inventory is uh, in short supply, and, and this is a Hellcat, and people are gonna be all over this car. This should have been a priority. They need to get this car cleaned. They need to get it through detail. They need to take pictures, put it on the site, and put it in the showroom. They took a couple of pictures, but the color looked, looked washed out uh, from the lighting. Uh, they didn't clean the car ahead of time. The pictures were very unflattering. Um, and I made the comment to friends of mine that work there, you know, they, the, whoever's in charge of doing the marketing for this car, they need to step it up. They should have detailed this car immediately. Uh, they should have put it in the showroom, took really good quality pictures and put it in the showroom. Under no circumstances should this car have uh, sat on the lot, especially on a side lot where it wasn't even being advertised as being for sale, uh, dirty. I mean, come on now. I don't need, I don't work at a car dealership, but I know that that there's sometimes there's priorities. If you don't have any Hellcats on the lot, and this is the nicest car you have on the lot, you clean it, you put it on the showroom, and you advertise it for all to see. And with the recent thefts of, of Hellcats and 392s and that kind of stuff, 
you definitely don't want to leave a car like that out on the lot but that's what happened now i don't know all the details with this um but i reached out to friends of mine that work at dodge uh for a future vehicle purchase that we're eyeing come winter time and was told that someone went on the lot at some point and stole the hellcat off the lot and i just that blo it blows my mind <laughs> It blows my mind that that car was on the lot for someone to steal it to begin with. The car should have been on the showroom away from anyone that possibly could have reprogrammed it or whatever they do to steal these cars. Under no circumstances should this car have been left on the lot for someone to steal. And what's furthermore, what's funnier than that is when before we bought the car, when it was on the lot at Reed Lowyer, someone tried to steal it from there. Somebody tried to break into it there. There were scratches on the frame just above the door where they had a key box at Reed Lowyer where someone tried to get into the car when it was there. Folks, if you own a car dealership or you work at a car dealership, if you have a Hellcat on your lot, it needs to be in the showroom. Don't leave it on the lot. You're just asking for it to get stolen. I don't understand what world <laughs> you could work in a car dealership and leave a car like that just sitting on the side lot and not have it in the showroom. It needs to be in the showroom at all times. It, it, that blows my mind. I, I, I don't know who is responsible for not putting that car in the showroom, but it should have never been on a lot. At the time of us selling that car, that was the most expensive used car by $20,000 and it wasn't in the showroom. And I and I go to the I go to Crown Dodge all the time. They didn't have anything else on the showroom that would have taken precedent over that car being in the showroom. It blows my mind. And I love Crown Dodge, but whoever was responsible for marketing that car needs to take that as a lesson. You don't let a car like that, you don't let a car like that sit on the side lot for weeks at a time. I, know, I don't know exactly how long it was over there without being clean, but it was at least a week or two. I know that I, I go over there all the time to see what they've gotten new because uh, I'm constantly in and out trading cars and stuff like that. And I saw it sitting back there, just sitting. And they finally did clean it and take pictures, but it never got moved to the showroom. You don't advertise a Hellcat on the lot. It needs to be in the showroom. So that's one of those crazy, crazy things now. I don't get it, but so yeah, my first Hellcat that I bought for my wife has been stolen from the dealership that we traded it into. Uh, that's that's a, that's one of those news. That's that's news that I found out today that kind of stunned me. I was not aware. I was not expecting that. That's just unbelievable. And they haven't tracked it down. The car's gone, and they haven't been able to track it down. That's just crazy to me. Anyway, if you like this video, make sure you hit that like button. Subscribe to the channel. Make sure you hit that bell so you get notified for all the videos. I appreciate you guys watching, and y'all take it easy.